What's going on everybody? The Germ here and welcome to the Pintastic Pinball Show here in Marlboro, Massachusetts. This is my first time here. I'm very excited. There's lots of pinball machines, a lot of noises going on. So enjoy the video. Don't forget we started something called Secret Word of the Day in honor of Amy Herman or Secret Phrase. So somewhere in the video I will tell you the secret word or phrase of the day and then you can type it in the comments below if you find it. There is a lot of machines in here. I just got here. This is my first time here. And it is very busy. There are a lot of games, and there are a lot of people playing these games. And hopefully you guys can hear me over all the noises. Pinball is still alive for sure. This is absolutely awesome. I do realize everybody's not into pinball, but they also have arcade games here. Some of these machines are for sale, some are not for sale. They have some pretty awesome machines here. There's a vendor hall, which is what I'm here for because I need some parts for one of the games I bought uh, over the summer, the Simpsons Daddy East machine, and I'm hoping to pick something up. But I want to play games too. I grew up with arcade games, got into pinball. Probably in the last 10 to 15 years, it is a very, very expensive hobby. I think it's time to play some arcades. This is a machine that I haven't seen in forever, so we're going to try Space Area all on free play. We had to do what we call pointing it up, we got it ready to go, let's play Space Harrier. I haven't played this in forever. difficult than I remember from when I was a kid. I mean, this thing came out back in the 80s. It's been a long time since I played that game. It brought back a lot of memories, but I'm not very good at it. Not at all. We got another amazing game here. I'm starting out with the arcade games. These are a lot of pinball guys here. They're not playing the arcade games. And we got Star Wars, an Atari game, Return of the Jedi. This is a fun game. I also played this in the arcade back in the day. I remember the arcade I played it in. It was called Just Fun. It was in the Pipsy Galleria. And it was an awesome little arcade. Let's play a little uh, Star Wars Jedi. This is a fun game, Ghostbusters. 
Definitely a good game. And it is not for sale. This poster right here is for automated services. This is actually where I bought my last pinball machine, Wonka. Fantastic game. First time I ever bought one, brand new. And if you guys are looking to buy a game, this is a great place to buy a game from. And they have a huge game room that's all on free play that you can go check out and uh, go play some games for free. So even if you want to just go play. Pretty cool place in Connecticut. Yeah. We're going to go in handheld mode. Check out some of the vendors in here. Now, not all the vendors in here. I think there's a vendor hall as well, which I would like to see. Uh, so I can find my parts. Here are some parts here. But not the kind of stuff we're looking for. Oh, these are cool. These go in the side of the pinball machines. These guys are the guys I'm hoping to have what I need today. They have lots of parts here. Some pinball coasters if you're just looking for a coaster. These are pretty neat. We're not looking for a coaster, but I'll look around and see what they got. Look at that Gilligan's Island. They've made almost every kind of pinball machine you could think of. Except for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They need to make that one. Oh, look at that. Quickie Mark. I think I've spotted something we need. This is what I was hoping for. Oh my god, look how expensive it is. Oh! $250. We need this because Mike's peeling. This is the reason why we came here. I shouldn't be saying that out loud because now he can take advantage of me. <laughs> These guys have a lot of parts for my Simpsons machine, including that Data East glass. I need that back glass bad. And uh, they also have this topper for Bart Simpson. And uh, we're trying to find the other parts that I need. We know we need a lock. So we need that, and we need some drop targets. But we're going to go look around, and uh, we have a problem with the glass stain, and, and I'm going to see what part is missing so we can find that uh, particular item. But I was hoping this vendor was here, and he is here, and uh, yeah, we're going to get some parts. This is awesome. It's going to make our Simpson machine look good. But we're going to go look for a Data East machine as we're walking through. I'm really hoping this is not the only room. Someone told me this might be the only room. Wow, look at that, a super checks machine. Oh my God, classic. So cool. Here's some stern pinball toppers. We were just talking about these. These got super expensive. These are probably over $1,000 a piece, which I find absolutely ridiculous. This is a game that I would like to get in the future. These Toy Story 4 machines. I really wish this was uh, just Toy Story or Toy Story 2 or 3. 4 is probably my least favorite. And of course, this is the one they did the pinball machine for. Very crowded in here. This is another neat machine over here. This Hot Wheels machine is super cool. I played this a couple years ago and it was brand new. This is American Pinball. A lot of fun to play. I wish it wasn't so loud in here because these are all electrical, mechanical machines and they have a very unique old school sound to them that sounds really cool, but unfortunately, it's so loud in here you can't hear the beautiful noises and the sounds of these uh, particular games. I'm not the uh, biggest Ninja Turtle fan, but these turtle machines are pretty cool. This is the older one. This is the Daddy East pinball one. There is a newer one, which I actually found to be really fun. This reminds me a lot of the uh, Simpsons Daddy East one, but the turtles are definitely making a comeback. We're going to go down this row here. This is the middle section. There's an awesome machine, Slugfest. I actually own this one. I only paid, I think, $900 for this machine. And I bought this, and it actually bends baseball cards. So you can actually make it bend baseball cards. And it's a pretty cool uh, batting game. Bat and pitch, they call it, I believe. Super fun game. A lot of the games that I have purchased for my personal collection, there's a reason for it. So Slugfest, I actually used to play in Wildwood, New Jersey in a place called Stuffers. And I used to love playing that. I was probably somewhere between 10 and 15 years old. Baseball cards were in big and you could win tops cards when you uh, played the game and got home runs. It was 
such a fun thing. There's a brand new machine. This one's not on Foo Fighters. I'm not a Foo Fighters fan. Music seems to be uh, big with pinball, with ACDC, Metallica, Elvis, the Beatles. There's a lot of pinball machines uh, for music groups. I'm not a big fan of the Foo Fighters. I think if they did something for Michael Jackson, that would be awesome. I don't think that would ever happen, but you know what? They did Elvis and the Beatles, so I guess you never know. Going along the opposite side here, got a Jurassic Park. That is the uh, newer Jurassic Park. I like the 90s version better myself. Terminator 3, I actually own that game. see if there's anything else going on. Hopefully there is a bigger vendor room somewhere here with some more action going on. Because that's really what I came was for is uh, for the parts. <laughs> that's awesome. Steamed hams from the Simpson episode. Final stickers, four dollars each, three for ten. Pretty cool little pins. Look at this, guys. Does this look familiar? If you've been watching my channel long enough, you guys remember when I picked up the Play Choice Ten? So awesome! Look at this. He's got it on eBay now. If you're looking for it, for much higher price than that. 3800 bucks and uh, for here and he makes these awesome pins hitbox designs and of course I bought one I bought this one steamed hams Skinner's steamed hams love this one and I'm from he's, Albany and he's from Albany it's I love Albany. it I had I had to have it <laughs> thank you so much of course thank you custom game room let's see what this is played on was somebody had a Sonic one at one of these shows last year. That was a fun game. And I was just about to say this Jaws one too. And it looks like Jaws is down. But the theming on this thing is absolutely amazing. What a cool idea for a game. It looks great. Not a very big uh, show here. We're going to walk to the other side. It, this is not the one I've been to before. The other one was in Surbridge, Massachusetts. It's funny, the room they were in looks exactly the same, but you know when I came in, I should have known better because you know right when I walked in there was like a fountain. I'm like I don't recognize any of this stuff in like an atrium, but there's supposedly another room over here for like tournament play. So we're gonna go check out that area and see what's going on over there. Looks like we got some food, and there's a tournament area here. Now, I'm not very good. I just like to have a little fun. I like to play. I'm not good at stuff at <laughs> pinball anymore. Or I don't know if I ever was, to be honest. The secret word of the day is flipper. So this is an extra charge here. This is a premium room. So you have to have a special ticket here. They let me in just so I could film it, which is super nice. And it's nice in here. I like this. It's uh, a little bit quieter of an area. And this opens up to everybody, I guess, at 6 p.m. But I won't be able to come in here because I'm going to be going home at that point. I'll be home at that point, I hope. But pretty much a lot of the same games. There are some different ones. But definitely quieter. I would enjoy playing here. There's a lot more room. And of course, because it's a premium area, there is a lot less people, which is a nice benefit. This will give us a better look at this uh, Toy Story 4 machine. Oh my gosh, I want this machine. Such a fun game. I know a lot of people are watching this video that don't play pinball. You guys come and watch my videos for everything. But yeah, pinball's come a long way, for sure. 
This is a terrific game. When I first came out with this, I wanted this really bad. I've actually met Jeffrey D. Morgan. Uh, he bought a car from a dealership that I work at. Really super awesome guy. And uh, I asked him if he ever played the pinball machine, and he said he didn't even know they uh, they had one for the walking dead. All right, so there is a second VIP room here for that premium experience. And this one has a lot less people in it. Oh, this is a good game. I'm not an ACDC fan, but this game is so fun. I love this game. It's such a cool game. It's got the glass and the play field. This is one of the games that I own here at the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Jersey Jack Machine. This is the first new game I ever bought. It is the second from last game that I purchased. Uh, the last game I bought was actually the Simpsons, the Data East one. Uh, but I bought that use because, of course, that's from the uh, early 90s. This game is so cool. And who doesn't love Willy Wonka and Gene Wilder? He is awesome. This is a special report by Hotel Kill. I'm getting reports that day. Here's one of the two Simpson games. I actually have this one as well. Wow, this one is brightly lit. It's probably all LED. This is Simpson Pinball Party. The last Simpson machine came out that came out. Not the older one, not the Daddy East one. So this is going to have a lot of more familiar characters to people. A lot of the newer characters. But uh, yeah, they are due for another one, man. They need to come out with a new machine so bad. Look at Homer's head there, Bart Simpson, comic book guy. They have a uh, itchy and scratchy game, which is super fun. I see Duff Man in there. Yeah, this is a this is a great, a great, great game. I love this. It's probably my favorite game in my collection. Of course, most of my games are my favorite game in my collection because that's why I bought them. I bought them because I love them. That was super nice of them to let me uh, check that out because I'm not supposed to be in here. <laughs> but they said for the video, yeah, go ahead, go for it, check it out. I won't be here all day, so I can't make it back here later. There are other rooms here. There's a pinball club over here with some uh, electrical mechanical machines. Let's go check those out. This is what I'm talking about. You can hear the uh, noises of the old machines. <laughs> Listen to that. Listen to those bells. Old school. Love it. They definitely play a lot slower than the uh, games of today, though. Here is a pinball club. So there's a pinball club, which that sounds pretty cool. Western Mass Pinball Club. Now, I don't live anywhere near Massachusetts, so this wouldn't work for me. Wow, look at that old Sega. Is that a Sega machine? Yeah, it's a Sega machine. This is pretty cool. They got a lot of cool games in here. Iron Maiden. Oh, look at there. There's Dolly Parton. Gotta love Dolly. This room is the Pinball Co-op. There seems to be a lot of these uh, rooms with different games. Not as many games in these rooms. Guys, I swear these are all different rooms. <laughs> these are not the same room over and over again, I promise you that. Or you know what? This one is. This one is. I did walk in here before. All right, there's two doors. There's two doors. Hi, Fabio. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. Oh, Sorry. pardon me. All right, let's go down this hall. There it looks like there is a, one more room, maybe. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this is uh, like a tournament room. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch more games in here. Okay, these are like tournaments that are going on. We're not signed up for any tournaments. I'm not, I'm not very good. Pardon me. Oh wow, look at this. 
I saw this last year. Does this actually exist? Can you actually buy this Weird Al Yankovic machine? I know he's played this, or I'm pretty sure he has. Very interesting play field. Look at the play field. It's like a modern. The whole, the whole bottom's a modern. Ramps, there's a hamster back there. Wow, this is cool. Definitely different. So all these guys are playing in tournaments. These different machines that they have here. Tournament. I wonder how they pick the machines. They're, if they're random or... Very cool setup. Very intense in this room, very serious. You win a big trophy, it looks like, in here. I'm not very good, so it wouldn't be me. Looks like somebody bought a machine. Either they bought a machine or they're bringing one to location. Sold? Oh, oh boy. They made it. It's like being at the hospital. <laughs> Not sure if somebody bought that one or maybe they're putting out a location. Definitely a lot quieter in here. I bet you the hotel guests that are not here for the pinball show are going, what the hell is going on? And why are these all these weird pinball people here? <laughs> I, I can almost guarantee it if there's anyone staying here, they're like, what, what is going on? Because this definitely took over the hotel, the hallways, everything. Here's the box office and they got some merchandise set up here. You get glasses, all kinds of cool stuff. They got, it looks like they got hats. That's cool, that's a good deal. 10 bucks for a hat, that ain't bad. Got lots of t-shirts. I think last time I went to one of these shows I bought a glass just like that. I feel like $10 is a reasonable price for a glass. There are some uh, other events going on in the area. There's a pinball expo. We won't be going to this one. This one was in Illinois, so that's a little far away. But uh, this arcade here, this one here is in New Jersey. And if you're out in New Hampshire, you guys should check this one out. These guys are just about to open. So brand new arcade, Coin Opt, which was pretty cool. They had a room set up. I didn't record that room, but yeah, check them out. You guys know me, I love cake, man. These guys got some cake. Look at this. All these cupcakes, they're all homemade. These are awesome. I don't know which one to get. All right, so this is your right. cupcakes, right? So I have 10 different flavors for you to choose from. We'll start in the middle with our maple bacon on a mulled apple cider cake because bacon, double espresso shot for the flash. It's real brewed espresso, so it gives you that dose of speed force you need to keep gaming. Here we have our very vanilla Hogwarts sorting cupcakes. They sort you into your Hogwarts house with the colored frosting you find in the center. Strawberry lemonade for Wonder Woman. Earl Grey for Star Trek. Your extra ball is on a key lime cupcake and your extra ball itself is a gumball. Then we have our double Darth chocolate. It is uh, chocolate, chocolate, and chocolate. Chocolate uh, peanut butter, peanut bumper cup. Good luck with this. Who named everything. these? <laughs> this is my red velvet for Deadpool because I wasn't going to make a chimichanga cupcake. And finally, this is the Bruce Wayne. It's a vanilla cupcake filled with coffee frosting topped with Bailey's buttercream and a drizzle of dark chocolate. Wow. They are all $3 each. You can fill a box of nine for $25. And, and then you'd be a diabetic by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> never know how many people you need to feed. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What would you go with? Oh, uh, I think. What are you going with? I'm definitely getting that one. Which one? The one with the end? Yeah. Yeah. Extra ball. Yeah. All right. Nice. I think I'm going to go with the bacon one. So here's right. here's my three bucks. Here's your three. I, think, uh, oh, I don't know. Bacon or should I go with this this one up here? Or are you going to go with the Bruce Wayne? Uh, oh, which, what was there? That's the Bruce Wayne? That's the Bruce Wayne, yep. Oh, uh, what would you guys do? I know some people are like bacon and, and cupcakes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Bacon, go for it. It's close. Oh, uh, which one's a good one? I need a real big one. Here we go. There you go. This one's a good one. All right, cool. Awesome. This was a hard choice, guys. I went with the uh, maple bacon right here. And the lady next to me, she goes, she goes, well, what's your favorite as the baker? That's like picking your favorite kid. You can't, you can't pick a favorite. You could, you could suggest a favorite, but you can't pick a favorite. You know, if you have two or three kids, you know you can't. Mom, who's your favorite kid? <laughs> you know who it is, but you can't say. Let's give this a shot. I don't know. It is. It's a light chocolate. My God. Oh, 
That is good. That is really good. I just love cake, period, so <laughs> that doesn't help. This is amazing. So we follow out the cupcake and it's got peanut butter from the I gotta tell you about your your cupcake was amazing. Thank you. I got to eat part of it and then someone ran by and stole it. No. Yeah, yeah. Or or I might have dropped it on the ground or ate it. One of the three. <laughs> Very good. Came back over to the vendor area and uh, this gentleman over here he owns uh, Mayfair. So if you guys look for parts, this is the guy. You need him. <laughs> and I bought a. Uh, Pinball Backlash, the Simpsons one I showed you guys earlier in the video. I bought a lock, a couple casters, uh, which are for the bob of the pinball machine, but I'm actually going to use it for something different because I bought that Nintendo display case at the uh, last uh, video game show out in uh, Connecticut, and it needs casters on the bottom, so I bought casters. I bought the bowling pins and a couple drop targets. Uh, everything came to just under 300 bucks. Uh, the Backlash was, uh, um, you know, used. It's fine, it had some little scratches on it. It's way better condition than what I had before. And uh, yeah, if you're checking somebody out, you're looking for somebody, this guy's uh, very reasonable prices. Mayfair, I'll try to hold this up again so you guys can see it. Contact him, he's very nice, uh, and he was reasonable with the prices. Time to play our first pinball machine. Been here for hours, have not played one pinball game. Very hard to film this stuff, but I'll do my best to show you guys uh, some gameplay. to 
uh, film it, playing pinball. <laughs> they do make special um, contraptions to make these look a lot better. But this is the best we're going to do. So I keep switching the angles for you guys. And when I do that, I usually lose my bowl. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. This is a great game. Plays so different. These um, Jersey Jack machines than a stir machine. You can definitely feel the difference in them. I love them. I, I love these Jersey Jack machines. I think they're wonderful. Come on, come on. I wish they would come down in price. That'd be uh, that'd be a nice aspect. Of it. They're so expensive. A machine like this one probably is 50, around fifteen thousand, if I had to guess. So they are very, very expensive. Uh, lost the ball. There it is. Searching the ball. There we go. Oh no! Almost lost my ball. I don't know, what do you guys think? Toy Story 4, was this the right one for them to do? I'm sure there was a licensing reason or something. Maybe it was Disney or Pixar or something. You have a lot of stuff going on in this machine. And with these movies. With actors like Tom Hanks. So I did confirm with the uh, owner of Automated Services, Mike, where I bought my walking machine, that the Toy Story 4, the difference between the collectors and limited, limited editions, basically a topper and some aesthetic stuff. So gameplay is the same. So if gameplay is the same, you know, the red rails and the red uh, legs look really awesome. But I don't know, maybe not you, but I would be totally fine uh, with the uh, limited edition. I don't need a collector's edition. I thought, you know, if it plays the same, what's the difference to me? I think it's time to play a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the uh, old one. I think it's the Daddy, yeah, Daddy East machine. I showed you guys earlier. Again, hard to video record these things, so I'm just going to do it from that angle and you guys can enjoy. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like, share, subscribe. Fantastic. It is. It is fantastic. Fantastic show. I ended up really enjoying it. I wish I wasn't so far away from home so I could stay and play a little longer. But uh, we got to play a couple machines. I got the parts that I needed. That was my big thing. I really need to get parts. I would love to take home one of these machines, but I don't have the money right now. And I definitely, definitely don't have the room. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, if you heard it, the secret word of the day, make sure you put it in the comments below and I will pin your comment. Thanks for watching.